What up, y'all? Telly McLean here, back with another tutorial for Koala Sampler and AUM. Um, a lot of people have been asking me about uh, how I use AUM to mix my beats out of Koala, so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys. So I'm going to hit the plus sign, I'm going to hit audio, or add audio, and I'm going to hit this big plus sign at the top, and where it says enter app audio click that and you're going to click koala and then we're going to load up a mix bus over here hit the plus plus audio plus sign at the top and we're going to load it up as mix bus a um, what we have to do is reroute this audio from koala into the mix bus so we're going to hit this button down here with the headphones and we're going to reroute it to mix bus a now let me show you, um, right, you can see the audio from here is live and it's going through to mix plus A over here, which is controlled by the wow. both, but you can see that the audio is going through to the mix bus. Right, so what I'm going to do now is load up a Rough Rider 3 compressor on my mix bus actually um, so hit the plus sign hit audio unit extension Rough Rider 3 and over here on this instance I'm going to load it as a multi bus unit or multi bus audio unit instance and it's basically going to tell the compressor to compress Koala so let's listen to it pass filter to cut everything off below 30 hertz supposedly I don't know how how good okay, this cutoff is but I feel like it helps because it definitely I can definitely hear it and it definitely gives it a, some gain in DB and I used to go crazy with the EQing and the sub EQing and I mean when I have my stems I still do the gain staging and stuff but and I, and I do have a little bit more uh, a different workflow which I will show you guys in another video but um, I found that if I listen to my mix a lot in Koala and I just really take care of the levels of everything and I'll like I'll turn up the compressor all the way up so I can hear everything and it's like loudest loudest and I'll and I'll EQ, you know like level it then and like you know what I mean I'll EQ it kind of that, that way you know and there's you know it's really just fine tuning at this point but yeah that's my spiel about fucking EQing. <laughs> but, so, what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to add a little boost at 65 hertz just to give my bass a little boost. I might not even need it, honestly. I might take it off. But, um,
sand on them, sand on them, sand on them. I'm going to just A and B, the unmixed version with the mixed version, just so you guys can hear the difference. guys that's my process for uh, mixing beats straight out of koala in aum um I've, I've recently started exporting my stems and importing them into aum and kind of have more control over the mix that way so i'm definitely working on a video as far as that goes but other than that let me know in the comments if you guys if this helps if you guys have any other questions or concerns if you think i'm just fucking up and you don't want me to make these videos anymore uh, just hit me up in the comments. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell if you guys want to be alerted when I drop more of these videos. Um, follow me on my Instagram or on Twitter at Telly McLean for some beats and more tutorials and other kind of dope stuff. But uh, until next time, guys. Yeah. Sandal.